What's up guys? Welcome to your 18th tutorial in game development. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over vector addition. Now what vector addition is, is if you add two or more vectors together, you get kind of an imaginary vector that takes you from the origination point to the final ending point. So let me show you guys what I did here. Say our point was 0, 0. This is where we started, right up here. If we went over 20 and down 20, we would end up at this point through 20, 20 vector. This means over 20 and down 20. From that point, we went back 10, so negative 10, and down positive 10. So we got a vector of negative 10 and 10 from there. So we went 20, 20, and then negative 10, 10. So what we do when we add these two vectors together is it gives us this third kind of imaginary vector. And these, this is the vector we're going to try to figure out the coordinates for. So in order to do this, or in order to add these vectors together, what you do is take the first coordinate of this and add it to the first coordinate of this, and it gives you the first coordinate of this. So 20 plus negative 10 is 10, and 20 plus 10 is 30. So this third vector right here would be 10, 30, my bedtime. So that is the basics of vector addition. If you add these two white vectors, you get this third red vector. And again, that's from the origination point to the ending point. So let me show you guys how to do that. Uh, well, this was visually, but using uh, Pygame and Python. So now we got this right here. The first thing we need is probably variables for the vectors. So um, after all this, I'm just going to name mine vector1. And I'm going to set it equal to 2020, a tuple of 20, 20. And then get vector 2 and set this one equal to negative 10, 10. So negative 10, 10. And actually, you can set it equal to whatever you want. It's not going to matter for this example. But uh, make sure you name it vector 1 and vector 2 just because it will be a lot easier to work with. So now we can go ahead and start building a function that can add um, these vectors together. Go ahead and build it in your vector class. And you do this, go ahead and define a function and we'll name it add. Simple enough. Takes parameter of self, of course, and just put one, two for those uh, function variables. Make sure there's only one space. Good. Looking good, looking good. And what we need to do is go ahead and set another variable that's going to store the answer. So put self, uh, put answer or sum or something. I'm going to name mine sum. And what we need to set this equal to the is the first thing we need to do is add the two coordinates, or excuse me, the first coordinates of each of these. One is a tuple and two of two is a tuple. Each has two coordinates. So the first thing we need to do is take the first coordinate of one, which is zero. Remember, it's confusing, but that's what it is. And the first coordinate of two which is 0 and that's going to give you your sum of your first coordinate and the next thing we need to do is take the second coordinate of 1 which is 1 and add it to the second coordinate of 2 which is also that 1 and this is going to give you um, your sum uh, second coordinate so this is going to give you your final first coordinate and final second coordinate by adding uh, 20 and 10 20 and 10 and 20 and 10 20 and 10 and yes I meant negative 10 so after that we just need to go ahead and return the sun make sure I spelled it right return self sum and now we can just go ahead and print it out so let's go ahead and print um, the sum is make sure you add your comma thing uh, what do we call it? Add. And then we need to pass it the parameters of vector 1 and also vector 2. So if everything looks good, make sure I didn't type anything wrong. And if I did, I'll find it out later. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see what our answer is. It says, this is from before, don't mind that. The sum is 1030. So again, how it got that? It added first. 20 and negative 10, which is 10, and then I added 20 plus 10, which is 30. 
So that's how I got the sum is 1030. So that's your quick tutorial on how to add vectors. And again, um, this is a nice little visual. I spent many hours drawing this, so I hope you appreciate it. So hopefully you write your function to add vectors. And in the next tutorial, I'm probably going over how to do something else to suit your vectors. And I know vectors are getting kind of old, but trust me, once you learn all these things, you're going to be able to create sweet graphics in 3D. Since that's what that's how you make 3D graphics using vectors. So that's why I'm teaching it to you guys. And this is also handy for um, movement and game development too. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next tutorial.